Assalamu alaikum. It's another day. <laughs> and I picked up the camera, so that's weird. Alhamdulillah, it's a beautiful sunny day. Uh, it's just Zohar time actually. So I had a very chill morning. And by chill morning, I mean like I slept most of it because it's Saturday. It's a slower day. It's a chill day. And I have to do some work. And then later on, inshallah, I have a man's got some packing to do. Packing. Because inshallah, I'm moving in a few weeks, month, month and a half. I don't even know. I'm all alone here. So I have to do all the packing by myself. My sisters both lived here at one point. So all their stuff's here too. And also like, mashallah, I just have a lot of stuff. It's too much stuff. And right now, alhamdulillah, I have a two bed, but I think I'm planning to move into a one bed because in Vancouver, I have so much family that I no longer need a second bedroom in case people come. And I, frankly, I don't want any of you coming anyway. So, so uh, also, yeah, I don't, I don't know what I'm saying. I need some coffee. Let me, let me get some coffee. Now, on this end, we get coffee. It makes a lot of noise. I was staring at that so long, I kind of zoned out and I forgot I was recording. I, you can't smell it, it smells amazing here right now. Uh, this isn't the best coffee in the world, but boy oh boy is it easy to do and deal with. And then once it's done, you just flip that. It's so funny every time. And you got some coffee. Black coffee. That's all the crema on top. Smell that. Yeah. It's such a beautiful day, but there's no clouds around, huh? Now look, you can see the CN Tower. Wow, this phone zooms in a lot, man. So it's time to grab some lunch. I use this halal meal service uh, because it makes my life easy. I'll show you my fridge. Just a bunch of boxes of so it's like the main food and then veg. So, anyway, today I'm having Waziri kebab with rice. It looks fantastic. All right. Today we got some eggplant, carrots. What is that? Is that pickle? Cucumber? Aubergine? No, that's aubergine. Onion? No, that's onion. I'm forgetting the name of this. Courgette. Courgette. And we got this little yogurt sauce. Yogurt sauce. I will just open up the corners and then I will open up my microwave. And then I will hit this and this. And in three and a half minutes, I'll have food. And uh, this is actually one more thing that I don't know how I'm gonna manage in um, Vancouver because here I don't have to like cook as such. I just warm up some food. I used to cook a lot, but with work and everything in life, this saves me a lot of time and it ends up being like, it makes the most financial sense for me because I don't like ordering takeout. Also that's super expensive. And it makes, and also these are like macro and protein meals i can track everything really easily that makes my life super simple as well once i move to vancouver i'm gonna have to start cooking a lot more which will eat into my time but we'll figure that out inshallah alhamdulillah like it, w it won't be too fam inshallah it'll be fine you know it's no stress also i put moisturizer on today but i need to put more on because here the weather like 
dries out your skin a lot. So I moisturize like maybe two, three times a day. Today it seems to be extra bad though. It is what it is. Also, if you don't take care of your skin, like what are you doing? This is the amana given to you. So take care of your body. I've only in recent years started paying attention to that a bit more. So I wish I started sooner. So start today. I, I couldn't figure out where to put you. So I've, I've just put you in a cupboard. This is a cupboard door. But yeah, if you don't do this, then do it. The only issue I have sometimes is that it seems to like get into my eyes. Not that I put it in my eyes, it just gets into my eyes. And then it burns my eyes. I don't like it when it burns my eyes, you know? Maybe I'm being dumb. It only happens with the, I use this one. I use this one, uh, which has sunscreen in it as well. Because during the day, uh, sometimes the sun is out um, and then I use this one at night and it's all chill <sighs> oh, feels much better I actually don't know if I told you what I'm doing today in case I haven't uh, I am sorry for that no. in case I haven't told you what I'm doing today I am uh, actually going to be packing but I think I did tell you so I don't know why I'm telling you guys. Also, I know this is spelled wrong. It's meant to say Sikh Inam, but I forgot to put the ting, and now it says Sikh Anam, but I'm not looking for an Anam. <sighs> There's like 10 minutes of sunlight left. I thought when we come out with some chai and just chill. Masha. Uh, I, I basically never come out here, but the sun was out and I thought, yeah, let's enjoy the blessings I have right now. And so instead of running into pack straight after lunch, I thought, let me enjoy this for a bit, you know. Also look at that. Yeah, pollution. I, I have not combed my beard today. My mom gave me this shawl and it's a really nice shawl, keeps me warm. It's uh, from Kashmir, I think, possibly. Perfect for Canada. I kid you not. Where is it? There. there. <laughs> I was staring out my window. This unit starts flashing. And I'm like, oh no, I hope they, you know, deal with that quickly. Otherwise, the whole building is going to start flashing. <laughs> and maybe you can hear the alarm as well. That's kind of hilarious. Oh, poor guys. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> I have to say, it does look pretty cool. The whole building just flashing. <laughs> but, uh, damn. <laughs> Man, I got so distracted because of that. Uh, I forgot what I was doing. I am actually going to my storage locker to see what's there because I have to take that stuff with me or do donate whatever I can. So let's go have a look. Okay, so I've come to the storage area. Just gonna do the thing. Cute. All right, so this is, well, okay, it looks like a lot. But like literally the first three, four things are just my sister's stuff. So I need to empty stuff out, grab suitcases. <sighs> this is such a hassle. <laughs> all right, all of this is my sister's stuff. And now I have to at least have a trolley. This was the best, this trolley, best investment I've ever made. Don't mind me, just uh, coming through. All right, now that it's all in my office room, now I can zoom them and f figure out what they want to keep. So let me do that. Okay, this is going to sound really dumb, but that call lasted all of like, like a minute because I realized all my sister's stuff is mixed up. And only one of them was available right now. So if I went through everything, 
then I'd have to go through it again with the other one. So I thought, let me do it at the same time so that they both can suffer with me at the same time. Because I don't want to suffer twice. I should only suffer once, right? So instead, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through my own clothes, try and pack some away. So let's let's do that. Also, I have these boxes I bought. I want to make the largest one to see how big it is so that I can, you know, do my packing accordingly. Also, like this one's extra large. This one large and this one medium. But what's the difference? Yo. All right, I got my little cutty thing. Let's see. Don't cut yourself. That would be the worst. Okay, okay. Solid progress. All right, this is bubble wrap I bought. Uh, I thought it was way bigger than it actually was. So that that's on me. Now, I'm gonna this without cutting my hand and I'm free cool that does not look very big like okay it looks big in the thing but like oh, one sec. but if I make this extra grande because that's what it's Oh, <laughs> on this side, it says extra grande. Uh, if I fold it, uh, actually, actually, that's okay. That's, that's a decent sized box. Uh, I, was, I don't know, I was expecting it to be taller and narrower, but I, th I think this will do. It's actually really interesting, but the way like long distance moving is done is based on weight here. As per all the companies I reached out to. Whereas I'm so sure it would be based on volume. That actually means that I don't have to worry too much about, that actually means I don't have to worry too much about uh, how much space I'm taking because my stuff is gonna weigh the same no matter what. I don't have to stress too much about how to pack it as long as it's all packed. Now the other flip side is that each box is like five, six, seven dollars. Um, so, you know, you get 10 boxes at 70 bucks Canadian uh, before tax and that's rough. So still wanna be somewhat smart about how we pack. I will be taping off the edges as well because because these boxes are going to go into like a long-term storage until i find a place in vancouver and so i want to make sure that nothing can get into the boxes i know obviously like it's cardboard but like i don't want little bugs or anything going in so if i just seal off all the edges nothing can get in i can be smart sometimes all right step one put all this have I ever worn these? Doesn't matter. Into there. Put put all of these into there. All right. So that's kind of where we're at right now. Uh, I got most of it in here in this suitcase. I'm going to keep going, but I ordered some food. And, well, I really felt like having a burger. So I have some fries and the burger. That's interesting. I keep having these moments of just feeling like a little lightheaded in the past couple of days. I don't know why. I think I've not been sleeping as much as I should be, or I don't know what. Uh, I spoke to my sister about it and she said, maybe I haven't been like eating enough. So today I'm making a conscious effort to eat a bit more than I normally would. Normally it'd be like, I'd take one of those meals I showed you earlier and then at night, maybe I'd have an egg with some toast. Uh, just keep it, you know, light. Because I find if you eat too much before sleeping, then your sleep isn't as good. So I always feel better the day after, the morning after, when I have a lighter meal. But it's Saturday, so your man wanted some, you know, a burger. Let's see how the fries are. 
not good not good i've had burgers from here before and they're pretty decent and they're halal so that's a big plus for me i had to turn the flash on to show you guys this burger but like holy moly <laughs> bismillah i don't know how to I, I don't know how to take a bite all i got was meat that's a good meat it's kind of cold though but it is like you know minus one degree outside so makes sense all right those two bags are full of now and my closet is looking quite bare uh, all of that's empty i'm quite tired i've just been doing bits and bobs around the house it's now quarter past 12 so i'm actually gonna ended there felt like a slow day to be honest but i needed some rest also burger slapped fries were cold but alhamdulillah you know anyway thanks for watching all right see you in the next one inshallah Allah is